there with the exam. Same deal as before. Glide through the markers and get to the finish without stopping in the middle. You didn't hurt yourself, did you? Once you're ready, let's try again. Keep a firm grasp on the wind glider and let the wind guide you. Now, let's do the final stage. Easy! You've flown this way before anyway! Once you've passed this final stage, you'll finally be able to get your very own gliding license. Just keep thinking about that license. Ready? Windborne Traveler, you are required to land at once by the order of the Knights of Favonius. I am Otto of the Knights of Favonius. W what's going on? Please, show me your gliding license. It is against the law to glide without a license. I am arresting you under Section 7, Article 12 of the Mondstadt Penal Code. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will forever carry on the wind. Wait, I'm an instructor. This is a gliding exam. Oh, I see. Well, you picked a bad time to hold your gliding exam. Really? Why? The Knights of Favonius received a report from a sister at the cathedral, claiming she saw Raptor gliding around these parts. I thought your student here must have been his partner in crime. Raptor? Who's that? A known criminal in Mondstadt. He always uses a wind glider to commit his crimes, so people started calling him Raptor. Wow, he flies fast then. So far, we haven't managed to catch him. Our plan this time was to draw him into the cathedral with a precious artifact and ambush him inside. But he escaped with the artifact. Fortunately, one of the sisters put some secret markings on the artifact using elemental magic. But he was too fast, and we couldn't even keep up with the trail the markings left behind. Well, if you need help chasing down a gliding criminal, I'm the one for the job. So tell me, which way did he go? As far as I know, 
He was last seen near Springvale, but that was some time ago. Leave it to me. With us chasing him down together, he doesn't stand a chance. Once we've got this raptor guy, we'll pick up where we left off. But no need to worry. I'll be sure to have a word with Jean.
of the chase! Mr. Draft always gets so drunk after a hunt.
Moonvale, there must be some clues about Raptor around here. The sister from the cathedral put some secret animal markings on the artifact he took. Use your elemental sight and keep your eyes peeled for clues. Ooh, hey, what do you think this is? It looks like a broken tree branch. Oh, Paimon knows. It's from a frame of a wind glider. Therefore, there are no elemental traces on it. Oh, it looks like it's just a plain old tree branch. Hmm, a strip of cloth with animal markings on it. Looking at the design and the way it's woven, there's a good chance it came from a wing glider. Wow, Outriders have to be textile experts uh, now? It's a harder job than Paimon thought. I'm so sleepy. If this really belongs to Raptor, it must mean his wind glider is broken. Slimes are airborne creatures. They don't leave marks on the ground unless someone stumped on one to take off. Hmm. How do we know if this was left by raptor or an animal slime? Either way, let's make a mental note of these markings. They're very clear. It appears that the elemental markings point this way. Huh. Well, do you think he ran off ahead? There's only one way to find out. Come on, we should keep following the markings. Ooh, what's that? Looks like something's going on up ahead! It sounds like there's a battle going on. Could that be Raptor? Quick, let's keep going! Goodness, the Knights of Favonius have arrived. The hilly trolls won't dare pursue me any longer. What happened? I can't believe it, but the hilly trolls attacked our carts. <sighs> Luckily, I outran them. Hilly trolls? But I thought the Knights of Favonius had cleared out most of the hilly troll camps around these parts. It's a small camp not too far from the village. The route I take on my delivery runs ensures I steer clear of it. But today. Oh, some crazy fellow suddenly fell out of the sky and landed right in the camp. Hmm, now, who does that remind me of? Oh, it really riled them up. They chased the funny-looking fellow as he fled, which brought them out in the open. I managed to get away, but they smashed my fruit carts to smithereens. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do when the merchant caravan gets here tomorrow. Funny-looking? In what way? Oh, he was holding on to something. Must have been heavy because he couldn't glide in a straight line to save his life. Maybe that's why he fell. Honestly, people like that shouldn't be allowed in the skies. It doesn't take a genius to know you're not supposed to carry heavy objects while gliding. I'm gonna report that idiot and make sure he gets his license revoked. Heavy object? The artifact? This could well be our guy. Tell me, did you see which way he went? Uh, I managed to catch a glimpse as I ran from the hilly churls. I think he went that way. Seems like a strong lead. On with the chase! Oh, and don't worry. As soon as I get back, I'll tell the knights to mop up the rest of the hilly churls as soon as possible. Yeah. 